Let me explain what we're doing. We did differentiating exponential that had some other base, a, like 2 or 3 or pi or whatever, right? That's just exponentials, that's just one half of the picture. What about logs? Here's a log with a non-e base, another base, right? So how do I change this? Well, as we've seen before, if I can rewrite this in a form that's easier to work with, so that does have an e base, then I'm good to go, right? Thankfully, I have a law that's all about changing the bases of logs, right? What's it called? Change. Change of base law, very original, right? So I've got my fraction. I want things in base e, remember? So I'm going to choose base e as my new log. Is that okay? Where did the rest of the numbers go? X, X, and then two. Yeah, I, I like to think these guys, one's higher, one's lower, they end up preserving into the same positions here. So there goes the X, there goes the two, right there. Okay? Now, what I'm gonna then say is, two things. Number one, uh, I am lazy, so rather than writing it as log base E, I'm just gonna write LN. And I've got L in there, there's my two adjustments. But hold on a second, see this log two on the bottom? Log two on the bottom? It's just a number. Like you can go to your calculator, you can find out what log two is. I'm not really interested in what it is, it's 0 0.7 or something like that. Yeah, okay. So if this is just a number, then I can stick it out the front of all the stuff with the X. Do you agree with that? It's just a number out the front. It's a gross looking number, but it's just a number. If it's just a number, I can now differentiate this really easily. This is why, right? I haven't differentiated yet and done no calculus. Now I'm going to, right? Here we go, let's differentiate. This number out the front is just gonna stay out the front. What's the derivative of log base E of x? This is just one x, one of the nice, really easy results, right? One over x. So therefore, if I just wanna simplify this, it's one over x log two. So what I can do here is I can say, well, what if it wasn't two? What if it was any number that you like, right? Well, I'll change this into log base A, any, any number that you like. And what you end up with is a derivative. One over x log A. One over, there's that x from the one over x there. And it's log of whatever that base was, okay? In our case, it was two, all right? Does that make sense? So this result here, differentiating logs with any base is really straightforward once you know how to deal with it.